Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of Amiya Says. Unfortunately, I couldn't come your way last week because I went to Lagos for uh, the new media conference. It was a very fun event. Uh, it was nice, especially meeting a lot of the Nigerian friends, those I've been communicating online with and uh, on social media with. And so it was good seeing them in person for the first time. So since I was away, I didn't really get to give you my verdict of the Ghana Meets Niger concert. Uh, so yes, I'll do that quickly. Uh, for me, I think it was a straight uh, win for the Nigerians. I think the Mavens killed it. Also because for me, they did uh, what I was expecting. I remember before the concert, I wrote a little uh, advice, open letter to the organizers, uh, telling them what I expected to see. And I think uh, Mavens uh, were close to that. They came prepared with the well-produced uh, and well choreographed uh, uh, session for us to enjoy. Uh, you could tell that they have planned it. It's something like they can. It, it's like I remember. It's like seeing uh, someone like Chris Brown. He comes to Ghana. He goes to Nigeria, and he has together a production where it's just a matter of just coming on stage and doing it. That's what I felt uh, the Nigerians brought. And so because of that, I'm giving them uh, uh, the verdict that they won. Ghana meets Niger number five. Uh, from on the Ghana front, I think Sakode was fantastic for me. He performed the longest and uh, it was amazing how he had control on, over his performance. Uh, it was clear, you could hear him, uh, he wasn't rushing and the fans responded amazingly. I think Tawale also did very well. I mean, he had the most highlights in, in terms of uh, uh, the incident where he stripped and almost showed us his little really. <laughs> anyway, uh, Stoneboy wasn't uh, very on top of his game, he looked uh, uh, maybe because he came after Sakode and, and uh, Shatawale who are taking the energy very high. Uh, but nonetheless, in terms of his performance, it was good. I think the problem I found with his performance was when he had to stop, continue. Uh, it was a bit of a drag because the time had already been fast spent. So that's it for uh, Ghana Miss Niger and yes, the Nigerians won. Tell them I said so. Anyway, next. Uh, also, I haven't been able to talk about the uh, Sakodia East Hood saga. Uh, for me, I think it was rather unfortunate that uh, all these things popped up. Uh, I think uh, whether Sakodia paid him, whether he reached out to him or he whether reached out to Sakodia, all of that was not important. But I think uh, being hip hop and uh, being a, a general that normally sees people brag and talk about things they have and don't have, I'm not surprised that Sakodia. Uh, that, uh, like I said, it's not important whether uh, Ace would reached out or it was the other way out. Uh, I'm just waiting to see uh, if all the hype is worth it. Uh, it's the biggest collaboration I think Sakodi has ever done. Uh, and uh, I'll be looking forward to see how it goes and of course how people respond to the video and the music. That's it. Uh, before I leave, uh, there's this news out there. I first had it on my WhatsApp from a friend uh, who sent it to me that Tony uh, Harmony, the Nigerian uh, singer, had passed. Uh, I didn't quite believe it, so I did some googling and I found out that one website had actually given details to that, uh, that the musician had passed. He felt sick. I mean, Tony has been living in Ghana with his wife for some time now. He went back to uh, his hometown in uh, Delta State uh, for his brother's wedding, fell ill, and apparently he passed. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but the funny thing is, or the strange thing rather, is that uh, his Facebook uh, left an update on Friday, the day that he was supposed to have died, that uh, every news, any news about his death was false, and that message was reportedly posted on his Facebook page by his, by his management team. So yeah, the question is, is he dead or is he alive? I think uh, we would leave uh, uh, for the family to come out to give more details on that. Uh, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had my say and you leave your comments as well. Let me hear you what you have to say about this episode and the previous episode. Like I always say, cheers, have your say, I'm here,